Hi friends, Yara here with Third Ayari. I had problems with my video. I had already um, shuffled the Akashic uh, Tarot and I had already pulled a card. So I'm going to keep it because I think this is an important message. I don't want to start all over and lose that message. So I was saying uh, thank you for all the new subscribers. Welcome, welcome to our new family. And this is the card that we got, the Three of Scrolls setting your course and I was looking at this beautiful uh, rainbow in the horizon so this is you you have something um, that you're focusing on you know where you want to go so it's just finding the way there just remember I think it was during the during the Yari reads about um, the process of ascension, I made an analogy of different of two different rivers going through different um, places, one going through the mountaintop and got one going through a valley, through a town, but both end in the same place, both end in the sea. And that's the way it works. You know, you have lessons to learn, but it doesn't have to be one, two, three, it can be seven, eight, nine, right? So, um, whatever you choose, just have faith, um, your path is like a GPS. If you take the, the wrong, the wrong turn, it's, it's, it's going to take you back. It's going to, it, it, you know, it's, it's going to, it's going to reroute, right? So you're always going to end up where you need to end up at even if you take a couple of wrong turns. And those are really not wrong turns. When things go away, it's because there was a lesson to be learned there. Of course, there's other people that are impacting our lives, but we can always learn from those instances. So that's our main energy. You're setting your course. You have something, you're, a goal that you have in mind that you're reaching towards. And it's just kind of deciding the steps to take, okay? And the route to take. Um, and this is a spirit animal oracle. So I wanted to welcome again the new subscribers. We're getting subscribers on a daily basis and this is, um, makes me so happy um, because it makes me think that people are finding value in the readings and the world, the word is spreading out. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Oh, wasp spirit. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what we were talking about, that sometimes there's things that impact our lives and there's lessons to learn, and sometimes life stinks. Yes. Or sucks. Yes, that too. Yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, we get stung, and that's okay. That's okay. Those are lessons to learn that, you know, give you strength and that gives you knowledge and, and, and knowledge is really powerful. This is card number 64. And you know, the six is unconditional love, but it's also support, uh, nurture, healing, compassion, empathy, partnership, all of that. It's also a very protective kind of energy. And the four is all about balance. It's all about stability and dependability. And when you're dedicating to advancing, which is which goes incredibly well with your setting your course. So, you know, when you when you are really dedicated to yourself and to your path, you know, so you're gonna you're gonna find some roadblocks, that's fine. Uh, but your dedication and your passion and your love and your commitment to yourself is what's going to put you through. Okay. 
And this is Angel Answers. Compromise, and this is a very uh, Libra kind of energy. Uh, you see the balance is there. Okay, so life is like that. I mean, this 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 is like a like a very very linear uh, reading. Everything it it it's it's really. Um, connecting to each other in a very easy way. Um, you know, when things happen, you have to compromise. You have to compromise. You, you just keep your eye on the goal. You keep your eye on the prize. You keep, you keep your eye on what's important to you and where you want to go. Because sometimes uh, we, we just have to compromise. But then, you know, we find that many times those are blessings in this guys hold on guys i'm gonna move this a little bit okay because i need to move and then i'm gonna block the view there you go um i'm telling you i was all set up and i pulled a car and something happened to my video that i had to stop it but i had already pulled that card and i thought it was an important message so i didn't want it to lose it and then I rearranged things and I forgot to rearrange the camera. What's most important, right? All right. So this is a self-care wisdom card. Look at that. Look at that. It's also about, you know, a path. And it says smooth. A long walk is good for the soul. Get out, get outside and allow Mother Nature to lift your spirit. Okay, so this is talking about actually moving and moving your body to lift your spirit, but it's showing us a path. And that's exactly what we've been talking about, our path. So, you know, we we're going to find a clear path when we commute with Mother Earth, when we are in commune with Mother Earth, when we allow Mother Earth to guide us, when we, uh, you know, do that meditation with her, when we, when we ground, when we do all those things that I've told you about, about stumping, about, and about, you know, taking off your socks and your shoes and, and walk on the ground, on the actual ground, on the on the dirt, on the grass, on the sand. Um, you know, it's all about going in communion with Mother Earth, with Gaia, and also that grounds us, which gives, gives us a lot of clarity. Okay? Now, this is Beyond Lemuria. beautiful that is and it's this is fire solaris sublime hmm and this looks a lot like 
dragons. And you know, every time I get that charm dragon out, uh, but it's also almost like snake, like a snaky dragon type of figure. I'm going to show you in one second. Has to be a dragon because it talks about fire. But it has like a snake shape. And almost like a kundalini. Oh, it's a, it's a beautiful image. Look at that. And it's the number 15. And 15 is the devil's card uh, in tarot, which it reduces to six, which is conditional love. Unconditional love, which is the lover's card. And we see those two figures, one, one uh, white and one darker, which reminds me of uh, the duality that we uh, live in and also of masculine and feminine. Uh, so there's a lot going on here. So because we're talking about our path and we're talking about setting our course and that sometimes life stings and to compromise and to move, I think, I think this card is reminding us of something, some behavior, some uh, thought pattern, some um, relationship that has become toxic to us. And again, you know that I always like to go back to the self. This could be, we can be toxic to ourselves many times in the way we speak about ourselves, in the way we think about ourselves in the things that we do to ourselves, like not moving off, like not drinking enough water, like not eating correctly as we know, right? So maybe there's some toxic behaviors um, and it could be even uh, addiction since we have the reference to the devil card. Um, but it also may mean some toxic attachment that we may have with somebody or that somebody have with us. And it's never just them with us. There's something it's, it's, it, it, you know, it goes both ways always. Um, so maybe there's something that we need to look at to compromise and to move away from because it's going to continue to sting us and maybe taking, uh, taking us out of our course if we don't self-correct. And this is, these are Melanie Beckler's Oracle cards. And I keep calling them that because I don't think she has a name for them. Just that, Oracle cards. So these are Melanie Beckler's Oracle cards. And these are the, the cards that come black and white that you colored on and I've colored some but not all there's a lot of them it's gonna it's gonna take me a while and I, and I haven't done it in a minute so <sighs> it is what it is and I keep taking out the ones that I color and I think the texture of it changes the uh anyhow it says wild top, but we haven't seen this one in a long time. Um, embrace playfulness and innocence for the for time for inner child healing. So, yeah. <clears throat> so maybe this is some behavior that we've been seeing from, from childhood or thoughts um, that were ingrained to us. From childhood that comes from you know the down the family line or somebody did something to us in childhood that made us think less of ourselves you know all of that um, so maybe it's time to heal it's time to heal that inner child and there's always something about our childhood because our childhood is not perfect for none of us, for none of us. So 
You know, think about that. <clears throat> it may not be apparent. It doesn't have to be something huge. Uh, you know, stuff. All right, and this is um, Tara of Marseille. And I don't have a box for it. This is one of my old, old, old tarot decks from when I was in college a couple years ago. Um, so I don't have a box for that. And I'm, I'm hardly ever using this one because I keep this in my purse to give readings. People ask me for readings at work and such. So I keep this in my purse so I don't see it in my, you know, when I'm picking out stuff for readings. Um, but I clearly heard I haven't used Tarot of Marseille. So I grab it and I'm going to use it today. Um, guys, don't forget that my website is uh, live now. That's uh, www uh third iari.com or you can email me at support at third .com, and you can um from the website you can um schedule private readings with me or reiki or um there's a bunch of services there or you can just email me you can even um put a comment um well it will be hard for me to get in contact with you but <laughs> email me at that address or at the Gmail address, thirdayari at gmail.com. I'm going to keep that because that's in all my um, old videos. And I don't know if I want to go and edit the information on all of those. Um, right now it's over 200 videos, so that will be a task. All right, um, so definitely something hurt you um, during childhood because we have, we, there's a lot of swords. Well, no, there's, yeah, there's, there's three. There's three swords. And I think this is in the reverse. It's hard to see. Yes, it is because the number should be in the bottom. Uh, so somebody hurt you, but that was in the past because it's in my furthest left. Um, and it's just three swords. You know, it doesn't have the, the bleeding heart that we're used to seeing in the radio white um tarot but then we have uh the queen of um swords it's in spanish and it it you know it took my brain for a loop for a second the queen of swords and in the radio white the queen of swords in looking it's looking to the right and the right is the future, the left is the past. So there's something about the past and she's looking directly at that three of swords in the reverse, which is in the past, right? And the queen of swords, it's somebody that can make, people think that she's cold hearted. I don't think she's cold hearted. I think that she is somebody that can make choices without letting her feelings interrupt, right? Get in the way of the choices that she makes, which does not make her cold-hearted. It just makes her much more thoughtful, much more um, in her brain than in her heart, which is great when you're making choices. Now, she's looking at the past, So she knows that there's some choices that she needs to make. She knows that there's some cords that she needs to cut from that hurt from the past. And if this has something to do with family members, especially parents, that does not mean 
unless the hurt was so bad, unless, unless, unless it was, you know, a, an incredibly traumatic um, experience like sexual abuse or physical abuse, something like that. You don't have to cut, a com sever complete, um, you know, relationship with your parents. If your parents had, it, you know, did something stupid stuff that hurt you, but it was not made maliciously, no. Now, if if the parent is completely toxic and continues to be toxic, then you can, you know, just hey, how you doing once a month or once a couple uh, a couple times a year, whatever you decide, um, or not at all, right? Um, you, you, that's something that you need to decide for yourself. Um, but I think that there's something that she knows is toxic. It has been toxic or was toxic in the past that was hurtful and that she needs to cut cords from. <sighs> and here comes the cops. So this is the, um... The Eight of Cups. And I'm just listening for messages, guys. Um, the Eight are about mastery and accomplishment and action. Um, it's all about achieving is a sense of power well it's the eighth right uh but the cops is about feelings so i think after we do whatever we feel we need to do and start that healing process it's gonna empower us and it's gonna heal our hearts so we're going to feel in a better position to move forward um, from that hurt. And this is the Seven of Swords. And the Seven, Sevens are about reflection about assessment, about control, about com uh, wisdom and growth and understanding is to give insight and explore um, options to that we can grow, okay? So after we realize that whatever happened in our childhood hurt us, and we do what we need to do with that relationship and we start healing, then we go into this reflection of what are the next things that we can do. And remember, this is about selling, uh, setting our course and about compromising. So maybe now that we have done that, maybe we can see what are those uh, toxic behaviors that we have adopted due to that experience that we had. So now we can stop those and, you know, it, depending whatever it is, if it's an addiction, if it's an, an addiction can can be of anything really. Uh, but if it's alcoholism or drug addiction or anything, we can, we can try to get better at that so we can continue uh, to our goal. Now that our heart, uh, it's, it's starting to heal. And now that we feel more empowered because we have done something about that relationship. And then again, we see the queen. We have two queens, the queen of gold. 
the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is very earthy. She is the original Earth Mother. Um, and she's very practical. She's very warm. She's very secure. And she is really all about balance. And we were talking about balance here at the very beginning. Okay, so this is what we're going to get. We're going to feel so much more balanced after we deal with all of that stuff. There's a lot of information that has come from this reading. And it's, oops. Okay. It's um, 25 minutes. And I haven't even started on the second deck here. Okay. cards love to come in the reverse they just do all right we have another queen here and i want to say that this is the queen of cups because she's in water and she has her heart chakra illuminated and she is just as calm and as relaxed and contented as you could be. She's almost like in a jacuzzi. She looks like she's in a spa. She is just relaxed. She is just so cool. Okay. And that water can also mean the connection. It also means the connection from us to spirit. Okay. So... So she is just empowered and she's connected and she's just, so look at the difference. The first two queens were looking at the past. Even when we're feeling already balanced, we're still looking at the past. We're still looking at that, uh, what happened in the past, right? She is looking straight forward. She is ready to move on from that, um, experience she is completely ready and she feels so connected the hangman the hangman and we got the hangman in reverse which is really good because when we are hanging upside down well we're uh, looking at life in a different perspective uh, and we're thinking because there's nothing else to do when you're hanging upside down but when the hangman is upside down, it means that he can walk away. He's no longer hanging. His, uh, his foot is on the floor and he could just walk out. So he's done thinking. He's done contemplating. He is ready to move on just like she is. She's ready to move on. And this is a nine. And it was in the reverse. Uh, and you know, she looks, look at her. She, she is very relaxed, very secure. She's, she's, um, connecting to the divine, but there's a really dark figure behind her. Now this was in the reverse. So uh, this is telling me that she's getting away from that, which makes a lot of sense. You know, she's ready to move forward. He's ready to move from that contemplation uh, phase and she is getting away from that energy, from that dark energy. So, you know, whatever happened to you in the past, um, 
as a child it's been a figure it's been a dark cloud that's been on top of your head and now you're ready to move on from that Okay, and now we have the two of coins here. But it's in the reverse. So there's some choices that need to be made, but maybe you're not ready quite yet to make them. Okay, because it's, you know, the, the two of coins... Uh, of pentacles is that figure in the Rider White Tarot that is is you know this young person that's juggling these two pentacles, right? Of course, um, the the art is very different in this card, but um, you know he's he's two people negotiating. Okay, negotiating. And since it's in the reverse, it's like you're not sure which way you want to go. You're not sure which way you want to go. So you are so ready. You are so ready to move on and move forward because you're setting your course. But there's some choices that are going to be kind of hard to make. There's some choices that are going to be very hard to make. But then we got the magician at the end. And the magician is the great manifester. And this is you. After you do all this beautiful work that you have done in this entire reading, you know, facing your fears, facing what hurt you, and, and making changes to that uh, relationship. And then you make some, some changes on your own of those toxic behavior, thought patterns, whatever it is that you have on yourself, you are ready to heal that. And then you balance your life. And then you feel the sense of calm and peace and connection with the divine. And you're ready to move forward. Even though there's some choices that are going to be hard to make, you make them and you manifest whatever is where you want to go. You go get it. What a beautiful reading. I mean, come on. Come on. Isn't that just so great? All right. So this reading is for all of us. But if you hear, and now I really want that bigger to come out. Come on now. Um, but if you see your sign, and we already talked about Libra, uh, this is especially important for you. Okay. So we got Aries. <laughs> we got Virgo. Yeah. <laughs> and we got Aquarius. Yes. Good deal. And Libra. All right. And then the letters you can see. See my beautiful balls? Uh, you can see your um, initials, somebody else's initials, or if the letters remind you of a word, it doesn't have to be completely spelled out. That's an extra message for you. And we got S, U, B, A, G, D, A, and we need three more. Three. And we got A. I mean, I was looking at the A. A, P. So we got three A's and X and X marks the spot. Okay, we have S U B like sub A G D A P A and X. All right, and then we have the little 
there's that dragon again. And we talked about the dragon. Fierce Totem of Protection. And then we got some of the... Okay. I'm going to get one more. Okay. And what is this? This is... Faith. Faith. I don't know if you can see that. If I put it too close, the camera is not going to be able to touch it. But it says faith. And you have to be faith. And you, have, you need to have faith in yourself and in the process. You need to have faith in spirit. You need to have faith in, you know, everything. Uh, because it, it's, it's, it was so clear. It was so clear, the progression of the reading. Um you know, how the process is going to go. And don't forget to have some fun. I love it when this little key comes out because this is like a Disney World key. This is, this is like Mickey Mouse. So, and it tells me that, you know, to have fun is the key. Not, never forget the fun. Never forget the fun. And we have the cat. And cat is all about uh, soul's growth. And this is definitely soul's growth. For sure. Hands down. And, and the raccoon always uh, talked to us about not hiding yourself behind any masks. Right? It's also about being clever and it's about being adaptable. So we're going to be moving and adapting and changing, which is what, you know, the card told us from being hurt, you know, starting with the three of, of, of swords to being the magician. We're going to be changing. We're going to be um, adapting but we're going to be transforming. All of this is about transformation and an incredible transformation. And we're going to fly free. We are going to fly free and high, very high. Because we're going to make all our dreams come true. We are the magician. All our dreams come true. That's a beautiful reading. Beautiful, beautiful reading. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Don't forget, like, subscribe, you know, hit the notification bell. And leave me a comment. If you have any questions about metaphysicals, um, let me know in the comments below or email me. And I'll be happy to make a video about that. And with that, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.